Hello everybody, today we are going to do an experiment which is called friction on a sliding object. And for that we are going to use a block. Let's see what kind of friction force we measure when we slide this block on the different sides on the table. And for that we're going to use a spring balance and as you know we have spring balances with different ranges. Uh, but we are going to use the spring balance with range to one newton. First I'm going to attach the spring balance to the block of course. Then I'm going to place the side which is made out of wood on the table and I'm going to pull the spring balance with a steady speed forward. First velocity it's the force was about 0.35 newtons. Now I'm going to do the same thing but now with a higher velocity. And now you see that the force was 0.4 newton. So now we're going to place the block with the rubber facing the table like this. So we start with the first velocity approximately 0.6 newtons and now we're going to do it again but with a slightly higher velocity and when I use a slightly higher velocity I measure 0.75 newtons. We do the same experiment again with the fabric side and the sandpaper side of the block. Then I write down these results in the table of the reader. So now we are going to do the same experiment and we'll start with the wooden surface but this time with extra weight on top. And because of that, the force will become bigger, the friction force. So to measure the friction force, we're going to use a spring balance with a range up to 5 newtons. And the first force is... It's about 1 newton. Now we do it again and we see that the friction force is slightly higher. We do the same with the rubber, fabric and sandpaper side of the block. Then I complete the table in the reader. And now it's time to answer the research question. Upon which three factors does the sliding friction depend?